Also, I apologize. I'm not wearing any makeup or bra or anything right now. So, I'm sorry. It's like getting light and I'm getting ready for bed here in a little bit. I'm gonna have a hunt tomorrow, so I just wanted to be comfortable. It's all good. We're homies. We can do this. Hello, everyone. It's really late right now. It's probably like... It's 12.56, getting ready to turn 1 o'clock in the morning. It's not too late, but it's still pretty late for me to be making a video because I haven't made a video like this in so long, like this late of the night. I went shopping today and I got a few Halloween things and I just decided that I was going to hop on here really quick and give you guys a little Halloween haul. Now it's going to be like a very small one because I didn't get that much. But I do have a few things and I still wanted to make this video, so yeah. Also, I apologize. I'm not wearing any makeup or bra or anything right now. So, I'm sorry. It's like getting light and I'm getting ready for bed here in a little bit. I'm going to have a hot tomorrow, so I just wanted to be comfortable. It's all good. We're homies. We can do this. Some of these items came from Michael's and then the rest came from the dollar store, Dollar Tree. And these I got for my Christmas tree or my Halloween tree, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of both. But they are just little ornaments and these were $7.99. And they are sparkly eyeball ornaments for your tree. And they have different colors. There's an orange, there's a purple, a green, blue. And they had different Halloween ornaments, but as soon as I seen the eyeballs, I was set. I did not have to look any further. Like, these were the ones that I was going to get. So yeah, I just mainly got these to put onto my, um, like I said, Halloween, Christmas tree, whatever you want to call it. Um, just because I thought that it would add a nice little creepy touch to my tree. And yeah, I've been wanting to get some Halloween ornaments for the longest time. Like, actual, legit ornaments. And I finally found some for cheap, so... I was happy. And it comes with like five, so. So another thing that was kind of in the eyeball, like, Halloween Christmas tree area uh, of my haul was these little eyeball balls. <laughs> these came from the dollar store, and I actually did a stupid thing, like, whenever I was unraveling, like, undoing them or whatever, and I decided to go ahead and put them in my tree before I made this video. So I only have one to show you, but they're all the same, and they just look like this. They're like little white, um, hard plastic balls. Um, um, plastic balls. They had different color eyes, and I got the red ones just because I thought that they were the creepiest. And I mainly got these to like just put on the limbs of my tree and just kind of have them poking out just because there wasn't that many in this there's like five I mean that's still a lot for that much but um I didn't want it to look just like plain in certain areas so that's the reason why I got these to just kind of add into it but yeah I thought that, that would add a nice little creepy touch to my Christmas tree as well um and I think that they're cool I went ahead and put them in my Christmas tree also Cuddles and Rocco love playing with these things, my cats. Um, they play with them as if they were like regular balls or something. <laughs> but I think that's kind of funny because they play with just about anything that they can get their little paws on. I forgot to mention that the eyeball balls came in like a 12 pack. Next thing is kind of like fall or Halloween. It could probably go for either Halloween or Thanksgiving like as a decoration. And these are just the fake fall leaves. These are the maple leaves. And they are like little medium small size um, fake leaves and they're in all kinds of different pretty colors and I mainly got these for a page that I'm doing in my breakfast journal it's kind of a surprise but that probably gave it away I don't know um, but yeah I'm just gonna put a few of them in my book and then probably use some of them somewhere else to decorate something else or something but yeah I seen them and they were only a dollar so I was like why not and it has it says 50. It has 50 leaves in here, so once again, a pretty good deal. And I didn't notice this until after I had already bought it, and I was kind of pissed off whenever I seen it, to be completely honest with you. But these are just little bat um, clips. I was going to use them as hair clips and just kind of make like a creepy hairstyle or something. Um, not just for Halloween either, just for like year round because I'm weird like that. But yeah, it just comes in a little two pack and they're just these little bats and they have glitter on their wings and I just thought that they were so cute. 
to be little clips like they could probably go on anything but I really wanted to use them as hair clips and what I said pissed me off after I seen it was that this wing on this bat right here is kind of like broke off um, not completely broke off but just about there and that pissed me off whenever I seen it because it was like right after I had done paid for it but I'll probably just hot glue it back or something um, you can't really expect much for a dollar but they're still pretty cute and I'm still gonna use them so so these next two things are two scarves I actually watched someone else's Halloween haul and I seen one of these scarves in their video and I just fell in love with it and I had to have one after that so I went straight to the dollar store and got some for myself and this first one was the one I actually had seen in someone else's video and it's just a all orange scarf and it has little bats all over it and I just think that it is so cute um, I know the orange is pretty much a Halloween collar um, but I'll probably wear this like all year round because like I said I'm weird like that that's how I roll I just think that it's cute and to come from a dollar store like this is pretty nice you know what I'm saying like I've never seen nice looking scarves at the dollar store so when I seen this I just had to freaking have one okay and then the next one is a scarf as well and this one is all black and it just has creepy looking little eyeballs all over it this one is more of one that you could probably wear like all the time even outside of Halloween which is what I'm probably gonna do with this one as well um, but it's just weird and funky and I like it because it's weird and funky and kind of creepy um, I got for my mom and I got her two signs they had these little stakes at the dollar store and they said different things on them there was like haunted I don't know what the other one said but I got her the haunted one and I had like a little creepy Halloween like haunted house on the side and it's just like one of those stakes that you poke into the ground and it's like a sign for your yard like a yard decoration for Halloween so I got her one of those and I also got her a little like door hanging sign and it had like witch boots on them and it said welcome all my pretties or something like that um, because she was actually looking at a sign similar to that that said the exact same thing at a different store which was a lot more than what I paid for that one because that one I only got for a dollar and these came from Walmart and they're mainly for my character at the haunt that I'm working at um, if you guys live in the uh, West Virginia St. Albans area or just close you should definitely come check out Scareview in St. Albans um, we are open on the weekends like all throughout the month of October except for Halloween because it does fall on a Monday this year um, and we're not open on Sundays either it's just Fridays and Saturdays but we are open um, and you should totally come check us out because I will be there and get ready to get the crap scared out of you <laughs> But yeah, I mainly got these, or my mom got these for me, mainly for my co my character and my costume because I didn't want like my regular hands poking out because I'm supposed to be a demon, you know, and I don't want regular hands on a demon, you know, my hands are supposed to look creepy or I just need to hide them in some way. So she got me some all black gloves and I don't know if they were made for little kids or if they were made for actual adults. But they fit my hand either way because I've got really small hands but they just look like this they're all black and they have like ruffle around them they also have this little like wristband thing to kind of keep them on your hand yeah they kind of curve up like that because that's just the way that they were made I don't really care too much for the ruffles but I'll wear them anyways because they're they're cute and they had my hands so that's all that matters yeah that was all the stuff that I got in my first Halloween haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Also, thank you so, so much to all of my subscribers and everyone who watches my videos and just supports me and interacts with me. I love you guys so much and I would not be making videos without you. Also, I apologize. I said in like one of my videos that I, after I 
got past 300 subscribers I was gonna make a short horror film for you guys I just never have gotten around to it I went to go film it one day and it just was not working out so I am so so sorry I've just been so busy with the haunt like nearly every weekend in October but I'm thinking on doing a question and answer video for you guys instead for now um, there will be a short horror film in the future just not right away because I just do not have the time right now so I hope that that is okay if you have any questions um, feel free to leave them down below and I will be sure to get them in a video and I will leave this open for quite some time I haven't really figured out the date yet um, but yeah you can leave them on here on Twitter just anywhere you feel comfortable enough to leave them and yeah um, Leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite things were out of this Halloween haul and if you are excited for Halloween. I may also be doing the 31 days of Halloween or the, I don't know what it's called, like Vlogoween or Vlogtober or something like that. You vlog every single day throughout the month of October. I'm thinking about doing that. Not exactly sure yet if that's going to work out, but I'm going to try. But yeah, enough blabbing. I will see you guys in the next video.